Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here with another cooking video. Today we're going to be doing the Ethiopian equivalent, roughly, of Fool Madamas, and it's called Shahan Fool. Uh, this uh, is different than uh, Fool Madamas, the favorite breakfast of the Arabic world, but especially Egypt, because of the addition of Berbere, which is the addition, uh, delicious, spicy uh, spice blend that's popular in Ethiopia and other cuisines in that part of Africa. So here we go. Um, what I'm not showing in this video is the actual process of cooking the fool. I give it like soak for 10, 12 hours and uh, cook it for 60, sometimes even 90 minutes. Nothing drives me crazy more than undercooked beans. So you want to make sure those fava beans get really nicely cooked. And the older they are, the longer they take to cook. And sometimes you just need to get new beans because they've been sitting on the shelf for too long. All right. First step here is to finally chop up a white onion. Uh, this is going to give us the kind of caramelized base. So I did uh, seven minutes saute and usually I use vegetable oil, but because um, this is a uh, fava bean goes really, really well with olive oil. So I came in with uh, two tablespoons and uh, then got sick of measuring stuff because who's got time for that? And just kind of put a bit more in using my eyes, some extra for the pan. That's always a good way to justify it. All right, then we want to get our onions into the pan and, uh, you know, cook them around a bit. Seven minutes isn't exact, but what I did was about five minutes for the onions and then another two for the tomato and the berbere to get everything nicely cooked. But uh, you can play around with those measurements. So after getting the onion, then you want to put in the one medium tomato. You can substitute with tomato paste if you have it on hand. It shouldn't change the flavor too much. Um, I always add a little bit of salt while the onions are cooking just to keep the frying process going. And you can see the colors are coming along nicely. The onion is cooking and this is when I'm gonna come in with my butter bray. Um, I buy this in my local African Ethiopian store. Um, it can be hard to find, so you might need to go on Amazon, but that's what will give this dish its special taste. Now I used one tablespoon. Um, if you like it spicy, use two. Uh, one is safer if you're cooking for a bunch of people. Some who love spicy food, some less. Um, so then I put in my uh, cooked fava beans. I actually did these in the instant pot as well and then just drained them off. Um, I actually ended up putting three in this recipe. So there's a little bit more gonna be, the pot's gonna fill up a bit more. Um, then you wanna add a little bit of cup of water. The idea here is that after adding the beans and the caramelized onions, a bit of water, you wanna kinda let it stew for another seven minutes approximately. Um, you can put it on to cover, but obviously if you leave the lid off, you're gonna get more of a reduction. Uh, this process can take, sometimes I just do it by eye when the fava bean is starting to mush up a bit. That's when I kind of uh, take it off. So uh, this is my technique. I think lots of people do it as I uh, stir the ingredients. I also kind of like mush them down with the uh, with the kitchen spoon. Now, if you wanted to get this homogenous, you could just throw this uh, at this point into a blender. Personally, I prefer it like this. So here's the final product. You can see I've got some, uh, it's got beans. This is absolutely delicious. Fool never looks like the most attractive uh, food in the world but it keeps you full forever uh, it's very good for you and uh, with the addition of the berbere and the caramelized onions this dish is actually super tasty because these beans were kind of old as i mentioned i did a little bit of extra mushing just to get them down to my preferred uh consistency but uh to each their own you can throw in a bit more olive oil and cumin if you want to really add in some more uh, extra flavors but it's not necessary uh, then just uh, serve some bread of course in Jeddah is traditional but we had this white bread on hand and that is it guys uh, this is how to make uh, Ethiopian style fava beans amazing food for breakfast lunch or just anytime you're looking for a really really hearty filling snack thank you guys for watching this video if you want to get more on various subjects do consider subscribing to this YouTube channel